welcome to One Lisa Show. My name is Lisa and today is Friday Sews. Friday Sews is a hashtag that was started by Today in Jen Sewing Room where a bunch of sewers on YouTube share what they've done this past week in their sewing room and their sewing space. This is my sewing space, kind of. It's a vacation sewing space. It's my snowbird space. I'm not a snowbird, but my machine is. So actually my machine is not here. It's in my attic. The machine is in the attic, which I need to take out next to my cutting board. That's my normal sewing space. And I don't film it because, well, sometimes I do, but I don't usually because it is such a unfinished attic, but it's too cold in the winter. So I had moved my um, desk in our guest closet and it works great. All of my fabrics are up high, but we had a guest this past last weekend. My boyfriend, Big Daddy's cousin, came and stayed with us for the weekend. So in order to still be able to sew, I took the sewing machine and whatever I needed last weekend out and put it back in the, in the attic. And then I just bundled up and sewed. The sewing machine is still there. I've been busy with work the past couple days but we have snow on the ground. We've had a storm. I'm actually excited about it. I don't have any appointments today and I don't plan to go out today unless uh, I have to walk Money Penny. If Penny needs a walk, which I know she does, because it was too cold this morning for her to do her business, so I know she's itching to go out. <laughs> and I'll try my best at walking her, but most times when it's cold, I'm carrying her home. Anyway, what I did do last weekend while I was in my attic sewing space was I made the Do It Better Yourself Anything But Basic Tea, and it's commonly known as the DIBY Club, ABBT. I made one uh, color blocked with scraps for my younger niece who is almost eight, and I did talk about that in a, in a recent video that I posted on Valentine's Day. So if you have not seen that, I'm going to pop in a picture of that finished product. I was so, I was pleased as punch with it. I was so happy by how it turned out. Love it. That's a free pattern. I'm running behind. This is my, my muslin for my Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans. This is the shorts version. Still in pieces. Have not done too much with it this week. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can work on it a little bit. But while I have a ballpoint needle in my machine, I wanted to get as much knit garments done as possible that I had cut out or put off to the side. So these will get work done hopefully this weekend. And see, there's a pile. <laughs> there's a pile behind me. What I did do is I purchased some fabric from Joann's. And I know, Madam Joann, she's convenient, but she's, you know, I'm not... I do like some of the prints for her fabrics. I like her prints and sometimes she has decent sales. The problem is, is after you wash a garment you make a few times, I feel like the color bleeds, the it fuzzes, it pills. Um, but this was cute. This was in the pop apparel knit section. It was on sale. It wasn't the best sale. I think it was 25% off. I got 1.3 yards and it was, I think about $11 after tax. And this is a 98% cotton, 2% spandex, which is fine, plenty of stretch. And it does have glittery accent on these unicorns. And I know I'm pushing it, I'm pushing it. You see all the red is glittered. I'm pushing it with my younger niece because I'm running, out, I'm running out of time with the unicorns, with all the frou-frou stuff. But this one at least isn't pink and purple. It's, it's more primary colors. I think it'll match a lot of clothes. I pre-washed that already to try to shrink it as much as I can. And the goal is Simplicity 8807. It's a children's pattern. And I have made her these leggings before. I plan to make her those this weekend. I can't wait out of that fabric. And if you want to see this pattern, it comes with a waterfall 
a style vest, which this little girl is wearing here, a simple tunic, a sweatshirt or pullover, mini skirt, and leggings. So it's an actually, it's a very, it's almost like a little capsule wardrobe kind of pat, pattern pack. You can get a whole bunch of things out of it. Yep, Ch child and girls vest, skirt, and knit tops and leggings. And this pattern is sizes 7 to 14. And I'll show you the line drawings. There you go. So I have made the leggings out of this. I traced it. And I will be making those out of the leggings for her this weekend because she loves the leggings I made for her in the past. I try. I try. I try to do make something for the older, make something for the younger. I made a couple of tops last week for the for the older because she turned the big one zero. And now I've just, this is two things for the younger. So now I also cut out this past week out of some blue flannel, Simplicity. Well, this is a rack number, that's right. I've made this a couple of times already. It's a great pattern. Um, actually, if they can make an adult version of this pattern, I want it. The exact, uh, this pattern adult. Simplicity, if you're listening, just make this in adult sizes and let me know, I want it. This is a rack 11 to 11 or 9393. It is pull-on elasticated pants with patch pockets and a dress a tunic, and a blouse. I haven't made any of this yet. That's in my plans eventually because I think the whole thing is so stinking cute. But these pants, that's where it's at. They're wonderful. I think the closest I can find is the Anna Allen, well, not really the Anna Allen Pomona pant, but the cut is the same. The pattern pieces, I think, are different. Let me show you the line drawings. This is a size three to eight, so I'm running out of time for my nieces to wear this. And in fact, what I did is I've cut out the size eight in a navy uh, flannel, simple cotton flannel, and I made it, made them, I, and I elongated the length two inches. My 10 year old niece just needs longer. She's super skinny. I think if they're going to fit her, I will probably do a smaller seam allowance on them just to ensure, because I am really making those for her. If she doesn't like them, the younger one will just wear them. I'll put a, because she loves it, I will probably put a drawstring on them, even though it's not necessary, but she loves a drawstring. They're in that stage, and I did the pockets, I cut out two extra pockets so I can line them so there's no raw edges inside. I don't know if I'll actually go that route or not, but I can whip these up pretty quick. It's a very easy make. It's simple. Elasticated pants are just simple and fun. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, ho. I forgot to point out what I'm wearing today. This is a top. I crocheted many years ago. Um, so this is probably, I bet this is a, about 10 years old, and I'll give you a kind of a little twirl. It was a free crochet pattern on, I think, Lion Brand's website, and I believe it was a Doris Chan pattern, if I remember correct, but it was a free pattern, and I do like to crochet, and if I could find this pattern again, I would make another, I would make this again but a larger size because I would not use this acrylic yarn. This was just a simple, basic acrylic yarn. I think at the time, I really don't remember if I was sick or if it was before I was sick, but I made this and I was chuffed with it, but the cheap acrylic yarn tends to, if I'm not careful, it could either spread and get bigger or it could get pilly or it can shrink. So it can do a bunch of different things depending on how that yarn was twisted and produced. And this one, it's a little tight. And I think if I had just a maybe a finer yarn, it would 
it would have looked completely different. So I do like it. I wear it. I think it's a great make for the week of Valentine's Day. So happy to wear it today. And I just have a simple ready to wear a V-neck t-shirt underneath it. And I'm wearing jogger pants because we have snow and I don't plan to leave the house. So this will keep me pretty warm. It's thick um, and ventilated. So with hot flashes, that's perfect. And, um, and then my sweatpants. Okay. So for someone that didn't do much sewing, I have a lot to say this week. My recent Minerva haul, I had purchased this one and a half meters of this gorgeous kind of a periwinkle. It did turn out how I wanted. This is, I had an intention when I purchased this. Now I can't, I have to write, to, I'll put in what the fabric composition is. For some reason I thought it was a soft touch, soft touch crepe. Anyway, it's gorgeous, right? There is on Pattern Reviews website, they do monthly contests and I've never entered one of their contests, but this month there is a contest for the Pantone color of the year, which is very Perry is the name of it. And so I tried my best to match um, Minerva's website for the very Perry color. And I thought I got a good, when it came in, I was pleased with it. I think that's a good representation of the very Perry, which is like a bluish purple periwinkle color. And the contest is simple, make a garment featuring the color. It doesn't have to be solid, it could be a print, but the color of the year needs to be apparent and viewable. And you write a review of the pattern and your make. And Fabric Mart is the sponsor of that fabric, so, or Fabric Mart is the sponsor of that contest, excuse me. And so there's two prizes. I think they're both gift cards for Fabric Mart. And I've never shopped there. I want to win. <laughs> so I have one and a half meters. The deadline is the end of February, so I don't have too much time, but I think I can pull something off. And I might have to put these other makes off to the side, but simplicity, another rack pattern. I'm notorious for buying rack patterns, especially when there's a sale, if I see something. And I wish they would put the real number next to the rack number. Simplicity 9386. It's a vintage reprint from 1960s. I think I showed this in a pattern haul video at some point. I love this. It's a bunch of different uh, blouses. Set of Mrs. Blouses with sleeve and collar variations. It looks like the body does contain bust darts. And on the line drawings, you can see every blouse is buttoned in the back, which is slightly inconvenient. It is for cottons, linen types, crepes, voiles, silks, chambray, sateen, and chalet. I don't think that's a chalet. I think that is a, a soft touch crepe. But I think I have enough fabric and I'm actually considering this one with the petals because it is something I like. I'm not a fan of sleeveless, so I actually might steal a sleeve and put it on here, just because I'm not a fan of sleeveless um, tops. I will always have a cover up if I'm wearing a sleeveless top anyway, so I might, well, we'll see. We'll see if I have enough, but I do love that flower petal collar. And by the way, I'm trying, I'm. I think my hair is long enough to donate. This is what I'm aiming at, cut-wise. So if you have a comment, that I might just take that picture in and say, I just want a bob. I just want a simple bob. So what else is new? What is going on in life? And if you're only here for the sewing, the crafting, and so forth, feel free, like, you don't have to keep watching, but if you could give me a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe, comment. I would love it. And thanks again for watching. On the life front, it's been um, a productive week. I've been doing a lot of work. I've actually had a handful of appointments. 
did a lot of baking. And baking is, I think, in that same creative realm as crocheting, knitting, sewing, any type of crafting that suits you. It's along the same lines of you're letting your mind kind of get that artisticness out and that creative side. I made brownies last night. The night before, I made pizza stuffed pretzel rolls for dinner, which was a great surprise for Big Daddy. He was so happy because he loves them. And I'll insert a picture of those because they I actually was like, I'm always impressed when they come out of the oven. And maybe they look gross, I don't know, but they're so good and the cheese just oozes out when you break it open. Um, they're a lot of fun and you just dip them in marinara. So it's kind of like a pizza, but a different shape. Even though I try to get a half hour of some creative side out a day, it's very easy to lose your sojo or your zest for wanting to create when you're overwhelmed with work or you get home and there's dishes to do, there's laundry to do, I gotta take care of Penny, there's a mess somewhere. I had a pile of laundry yesterday that I did um, bedding, towels, you name it, it felt like it was never ending. This morning I vacuumed because we're going in and out of the house trying to do things, take Penny for her potty breaks, and you just want to keep everything clean. Before we know it, spring cleaning is going to be here in a couple of weeks, and I always call the month of March my spring cleaning month. So I just want to go through and really go after things that I don't clean often. There's two of us. So there are things, there's dusting that we just don't do on a regular basis. It's not, we're not dirty people, but there are just things that don't get cleaned every week. So spring cleaning, the month of March, I like to go through as much as I can and really thoroughly dust and flip mattresses and do things like that and, you know, windows and... Well, sometimes you can't wash the windows depending on the weather, but there are lots of things. Organization, getting rid of things, thinking what goes to goodwill, trying to make more space. There's so much to do, and I know that's going to kind of take over as well. But anyway, my point being, even when I feel like I've lost my sojo or I'm overwhelmed with what else I have to do the rest of the day to complete the day, like the dishes and the laundry and making the bed and folding towels and sometimes I, by the time it's all said and done and making dinner and I sit down and I'm like I have nothing else in me I'll wake up in the middle of the night and watch a sewing video or the last homely house has been one that I really like I've been watching a lot more quilting videos I have not done a quilt yet but it's on my list last night I was up and I told Big Daddy, I just want to sew all day tomorrow. So I'm hoping to get a good chunk of a day in for sewing. It is sunny and bright and perfect for natural light in the HQ. Well, what I call the HQ, which is my the attic. Because um, that has wonderful windows. Even though it's unfinished, it'll bring in a little warmth. And maybe I'll get my sewing machine back here in my space this weekend as well. And I do have to work this weekend. I have to work tomorrow, but that's okay. Work provides me the privilege to be able to sew. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and thanks for tuning in and watching. I will speak to you again soon and hopefully have another tutorial or some great tip. I have a list I've been making of things I wanna talk about on my channel. Have a great day and check out the other Friday sewers. Thanks. Bye-bye.